Hi everyone. In this lecture, we're going to style the add new question page. So this is our page. Let's go ahead and let's create the CSS file. I'm going to say add underscore question um, dot CSS. So we're going to have some styling from before. So we have our universal selector margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing to border box let's grab the body this is this page is going to have a different um background color uh, background image so the height is going to be again 100 vh font family is going to be verdana if not font size family verdana and background image is going to be url let's just uh it is at question underscore bg there we go so the background size is again going to be cover just cover the entire web page um background position is going to be center as well as the background repeat to no repeat again line height is going to be 1.8 which we have gone over and i'm going to say display flex uh, flex direction when it is flex direction column it means that justify content happens vertically so align items is going to happen horizontally let's save that let's go to home page from there to add new question reload this it is not working and i'm sure you have guessed it why because we have not linked our style so go to static from there uh, grab the add question.css reload the page there we go so you can see that because uh, flex direction is column justify uh, sorry align items happens horizontally as opposed to justify content so if flex direction is the default which is row align items job is to happen vertically but because we changed the original um, axis uh, this entire the other axes that depend on the original they also get reverted there we go so after that i'm going to provide some styling for our h1 which we have basically done before so i'm just going to provide it here now let's grab the form so the form is going to have a margin top of 70 pixels i want there to be some space between the form and the h1 i'm going to give the form a height of 60 vh 60 parts of the viewport so if you divide this viewport into 100 parts the form is going to grab 60 parts of it viewport is the part that you can see if you can't see it if it if you cannot see it it is not viewport so uh display flex just just some alignment flex direction in the process you also learned flexbox align items again check my course you're gonna love it the modern flexbox uh, css grid sas and, and animations developer course uh, justify content you can find it very easily in udemy so space between there we go so let's just run this there we go so you can see that we do have this giant space here and the reason for that is space between because flex direction is column justify content happens vertically uh, depending on this flex direction so we have all that space here uh, i'm going to provide some styling for um, the question diff as well as the answer diff they're going to share some styling so i'm going to use a um uh what, what grouping selector kind of forgot the name we did talk about that so question dot and as well as answer I'm going to say display flex and flex it's a common uh, property whenever you're creating websites it's the best when you want to um, basically align your items now let's grab the label so for the label I'm just going to increase the font size remember this label is this question that I've highlighted that is the label and when you say label it is going to apply it both on this questions label as well as the answers label because we have selected that universally using the selector name the element name 20 pixels uh, color white uh, text align uh, center 
uh, margin bottom just provides some spacing 30 pixels uh, font weight 100 basically the thickness we are reducing that now uh, let's uh, style the input and then we are basically done so I'm gonna save this take a look at that you can see that they are being they are changed but these inputs you can see they are very thin I want them to get thicker so input now another cool way of selecting CSS uh, uh, through CSS selecting HTML elements is providing this uh, the set of brackets a set of brackets is used to select any kind of attribute that you like so you can select this input by the type by the name even by the required so I'm gonna say I want to select an input that has a type of text and let's provide that in quotes why because this if you take a look at this one this has an input type of submit I just want to select this input and this input both of them the input for the question and the input for the answer now this um, you can do this or you can come up with another way the reason that I'm mixing all these different selectors is just to show you that there are like a lot of ways in which you can select an HTML element in CSS there is a lot of ways and this is one of those ways that you need to be aware of so we have class we have element we have attribute this is called an attribute selector so I'm gonna say the height should be 50, uh, 35 pixels the outline whenever you click inside the input there's gonna be like a blue outline sometimes I just want to remove that I, I do not like it um, the background uh, itself uh, inputs they have a background by default that I'm just gonna remove it say none the border I'm gonna remove that as well to none I'm gonna create two borders of myself so I'm gonna say border left one pixel solid um, uh, white as well as uh, border bottom again very uh, subjective design um, choices uh, width should be 600 pixels uh, font size 20 pixels now uh, you might be thinking that we don't have anything within the input what does the font size refer to the font size refers to the things that you're writing within the input so we want to basically grab that SDSDSD that I've just written here and increase their font size so the user can actually see what the user is writing that's what this font size refers to color is the color of the text that is being written inside the input padding is the for the input itself so this is the styling for the input which has a type of text let's refresh that there we go so with styling you can see that uh, you can basically do anything that you want and I can see that this uh, this is in the middle I do not want it to be in the middle so I'm gonna say text align let's put it on the left I think it looks better on the left so now if I say do you have a kitty cat so you can see now whenever the user tries to write something it's gonna be like a little bit bigger and eventually we are gonna say input that has a type of submit we want to style that there again there are a lot of ways that you can select that input I'm choosing to select it um, using its attribute let's remove the background so I'm gonna say background none remove the border none increase the font size of the text to 20 pixels grab the background color uh, set it to this value of HSL a so it has a little bit of transparency like uh, 37 something percent transparency padding for top and bottom is going to be 10 pixels and um, 10 pixels for left and right is going to be 20 mm, color is going to be white cursor pointer so when the user hovers on it on the input uh, the a cursor is going to change to a hand icon and there we go 
So you can add a new question. Um, does a fish walk? Let's go to the answer. Nope. Let's say create question. We are immediately redirected to that question. If we go to the home page, that question has been added here. Of course, I do not like it, so I'm basically going to remove it. And now you can see the remove a question doesn't have a styling. So we are going to do that in our next lecture.